I found out about Troop County Works at a job fair. I registered and I also attended the workshop that they had. And also that was where they uh, updated my resume. And from there, I continued to stay involved with Troop County Works. Troop County Works have benefited me in my career development by a networking and support that they offer through their workshops. And I get continual emails about, you know, the jobs, the current jobs that are located here in Troop County and for uh, Troop County people. Troop County Works website is a website that is, ba is for Troop County people. It doesn't direct you all over, you know, the country or the state, but it keeps you right here with the local jobs that are available for Troop County. You've got that ideal career in mind. Well, West Georgia Technical College specializes in preparing you for great careers. Call today and find out how we can help you fit education into your busy lifestyle. You've got that ideal career in mind. Well, West Georgia Technical College specializes in preparing you for great careers. Call today and find out how we can help you fit education into your busy lifestyle. Good morning, I'm Perrin Alford. I'm the Provost of West Georgia Technical College here in LaGrange, and today we'll be talking about articulation of coursework, uh, the transferability of coursework, and how we can save you some money as you progress on your journey in higher education. I'm Perrin Alford, Provost at West Georgia Technical College. Today we're talking to Chris Garcy. Chris is our systems technician at the college. And uh, Chris is here to tell us uh, of his history at West Georgia Technical College. But specifically we want to talk about uh, the transferability of coursework uh, at West Georgia Technical College, how that uh, impacted Chris and uh, Chris's educational experience as he's gone from high school to uh, higher education and he has a four-year degree now from I think Troy State. I don't want to steal too much of his thunder so I'll let him tell you all the the nuances of, of all of uh, his educational experiences but uh, for the folks watching us this morning this afternoon whenever they watch this uh, this show I uh, really want them to be aware that they're well a couple of things one higher education is expensive would you agree with that, Absolutely. Mr. Dorsey? It is yes, uh, expensive. Uh, but more than that, you can attend West Georgia Technical College, and with a lot of hard work that has been done, we have uh, lots of articula articulation agreements now that can really save you some money. So, Chris, uh, as we do on each show, uh, tell the folks a little bit about yourself, where you're from, where you went to high school, uh, how you ended up doing what you're doing, all the stuff that the folks might need to know to get to get a good feel for who Chris Garcia is. So. Well, um, I grew up here in Troop County um, all my life. I went to Troop High School and I graduated in uh, 99 and then also started um, at West Georgia Tech in, 19, in the fall of 1999. Okay, now wow, as we go along, I'm going to kind of jump in periodically okay. here or uh, when I feel the need. Tell the folks, uh, you left Troop High School, Tell the folks kind of your, your general thought process about higher education. What led you to uh, West Georgia Technical College as opposed to going to Columbus State or LaGrange College or something? Well, it was mainly it was location and convenience. You know, I lived here in Tripp County and West Georgia Tech was the technical college here in, in LaGrange and, and it was convenient for me in location. And also, you know, it was cost effectiveness for me to come to West Georgia Tech. Okay. Because I received the Hope Scholarship, and which allowed me to come here. Okay, very, very interesting. Uh, in the world we live in today, I'm not sure if uh, very many people are aware of what the gas prices are currently, but they are going through the roof. 
again. Uh, so gas prices are going up. Now, that is a cost associated with going to college. So what you've said, I think, is very important so far that uh, folks who are out there uh, who are realizing that they need to uh, further their education, that they might need uh, more educational coursework to either move up in a job they currently have. Uh, there might be some folks out there watching this broadcast that uh, are unhappy in the, the job they have. They want to change jobs. Sadly, there might even be some folks out there watching our broadcast who are unemployed. So uh, the folks watching the show, I would just really urge to really take a look at West Georgia Technical College. Uh, education changes your life for the better in just uh, numerous ways. Uh, anyway, you were talking about why you went to West Georgia Tech. In town, local, convenient for you. Also save you some money driving back and forth to, you know, wh wherever you, you could have uh, selected other than West Georgia Tech. So uh, tell us what you got into at West Georgia Tech and, and how all that came about. What, what kind of coursework did you take? Well, I did uh, computer information systems from West Georgia Tech and I got a lot of hands-on knowledge that um, of course, I went to Troy that I didn't get because I, I got a ton of, of knowledge and, and I wouldn't take that, I, w I would, wouldn't do anything away with my knowledge that I got from West Georgia Tech. Great. Uh, you bring up some, some great points again about uh, technical education as opposed to a traditional four-year degree. Uh, when a student comes to West Georgia Technical College, they uh, are not only going to have to open up the book and, and learn the, the book knowledge, but they also are required to take these things, your hands, and actually apply what you were learning in the book. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and a lot of folks learn better that way. Then uh, some folks are just like to read it and can get it that way. Other folks, like Mr. Alford, need to read it and also do yeah. something repetitive perhaps with your hands and apply that book knowledge to, to uh, what you, you're actually going to be doing. So you've said you came to West Georgia Tech, you got into the computer information systems mm -hmm. area, and now what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? I, I, what does that mean? Well it's technology and, and the way the world is now is everything is technology. So pretty much um, I learned how to repair uh, computers, learned more into the network side of everything, uh, learned all about that, learned how to, to set up networks and stuff. Um, okay. And that's it's pretty much technology. Okay. Now, to, to let the folks know uh, a little bit more in detail what skills you learned at West Georgia Technical College, tell the folks about how many computers we have on our campus. We have about 400 to 500 computers on the campus at, in LaGrange. Okay, 500 computers. Now, I'm, I'm assuming all of those are kind of hooked together. What, what's the term for that? Networking? Networked, it, yes. So, so all of these computers in all our labs, classrooms, offices, they're all networked. Yes. Now, so what does that mean in a day-to-day kind of thing that you do all day long? Well, it's pretty much maintain all the, the, the computers. They break. We have to go and fix them. Uh, we have network issues. We have to go and troubleshoot the network issues. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a day-to-day -day process. Like you said, you know, there's things that happen every single day that require our skills and knowledge that we have to go out and pretty much be the person that, that troubleshoots all of the issues. Now, probably you don't have any, uh, or you don't have many folks like Mr. Alford, who call you and go, Chris, uh, you know, my email's not working, or Chris, I can't get my printer to work, and all these kind of things. That's pretty much a big part of your job oh, yes, as well. It's job security. <laughs> Folks like me, yes. your job security. <laughs> well, that's, that's good. Uh, so, um, do you actually, did, did we teach you at West Georgia Tech the skills to like get up in the ceiling and run wire and run the wire and hook the machines up and run the wire back to the what are the, the servers? Is that what yeah. all that stuff is called? So you, you've learned all that stuff at West yes, Georgia I've Tech as well? Yes, I've learned all that stuff, yes. Wow. Uh, all right, now let's tie this the step, a, a step forward. So you, you left Troop High. You realized higher education was very important to you, which it is. Yes. Uh, you decided to come to West Georgia Technical College, got in computer information systems. Now, what award did you leave West Georgia Tech with? I know we have three different ones. We have certificates diplomas and associate degrees. I received my Associates of Applied Technology degree in Computer Information Systems from West Georgia Tech. So, and I graduated uh, in 2003. Okay. Now, um, you leave West Georgia Tech, uh, you begin your career as a systems technician at West Georgia Technical College, 
And now, how did all of that evolve into you looking at even more education? Well, I started part-time at West Georgia Tech in 2004, and, I, um, and in 2006, I came on full-time and decided that I needed to go back and get my bachelor's degree. So I just did some research and looking around, and I, I chose Troy University, um, and I did their stuff online. And so that, that was kind of my decision was, was to go that route. And so all of my classes and stuff that I, that I took at West Georgia Tech, I, I started searching through them. And I sent in my transcripts from West Georgia Tech to Troy University, and a, a number of credits did transfer to Troy University. So that was that was one of my. As I was searching, I wanted to find a, a, a university that, that would accept my credits. Okay. And you have led us to really right where uh, you know I, I had hoped you would lead us. Uh, as you left West Georgia Technical College, uh, and you looked to go to the next level to complete that associate degree, to turn that associate degree into a four-year yes. baccalaureate degree. Uh, obviously, higher ed is a lot different than K-12 through education. Uh, K-12 through education, uh, by state law, you have to, uh, we have to uh, pr provide tax dollars to educate K-12 through uh, schools, LaGrange Troop, Callaway High School. Uh, once you leave K through 12, though, when you graduate from Troop Callaway Lagrange, all of a sudden it's a different world you enter. You have to pay for that education that you uh, are getting from wh wherever you choose to uh, attend your higher ed classes. Um, so there are different levels of costs associated with those classes. Uh, Board of Regent Schools, which are examples: University of Georgia, uh, Auburn University, Georgia State, Columbus State, Valdosta State. Um, uh, they are a little bit more expensive, I think we can safely say, than the, the technical college. So uh, I said all that to say this, it is very important that a student who attends West Georgia Tech needs to know something very important. We have worked very hard at West Georgia Tech to build articulation agreements with uh, several of our higher educational partners. Uh, and that ties right back to, as our example, with, with, with Chris here. Now, uh, I don't think we have an, ar an articulation agreement with Troy State. But tell the folks your story about Troy State. Did they work with you? Did Absolutely. They, did did yes, they yes. take yeah. some of the West Georgia Technical yes, College? they, they took work. a number of, of, of general core okay. classes from West Georgia Tech. Okay. Now, tell the folks why that is important. Well, number one is I didn't have to take those courses at Troy University which means less, less classes that I have to take there, which le means less money that I have to spend there. Boy, very important. We, we have hit the home run. We've hit the ball out of the park. Uh, very important for a student to understand, very, very important that the student understand that West Georgia Technical College not only is a great place to learn skills, to better yourself, to make yourself more marketable, to uh, help you move up in the current job you might have. But now, through a lot of hard work over the last several years, our viewing audience also needs to know that we have a lot of agreements in place so that the students can take a good bit of the coursework at West Georgia Tech in LaGrange, or Douglasville, or Waco, or Carrollton, or Noonan, all of our different locations. And then, because of the hard work with these articulation agreements, uh, good bit of that coursework is going to transfer. Now what does that mean to the viewing audience? That means you spend less money to, uh, to uh, fund your educational, your higher educational pursuit. Very important. Alright, we've been talking to Chris Garcy. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back we're going to get a little bit more in detail about the articulate, excuse me, the articulation agreements we have and the uh, colleges and universities that we have articulation agreements in place with. So we're talking to Chris Garcy, and we will be right back after this message. You've got that ideal career in mind. Well, West Georgia Technical College specializes in preparing you for great careers. Call today and find out how we can help you fit education into your busy lifestyle. I'm a small business owner, and so in order to be cost effective, um, I had used Troop County Works because it was free. I wanted to try it. 
to see if I could hire some local people for my organization. It was very simple. It's very easy to upload um, your job application on there. Um, and I'm not a technically oriented person, so if I can upload something onto the site, I think anybody can. I got so many applicants, I was amazed. Um, I probably had about 65 resumes sent to me within a week or 10 days. And extremely qualified candidates applied for the position that I had open in my office. Well, I like to buy local, I like to hire local. So being able to uh, get a pool of candidates that were from Troop County who were looking for work was the first selling point to me. Um, and it, again, it was easy to use and it was free. You've got that ideal career in mind. Well, West Georgia Technical College specializes in preparing you for great careers. Call today and find out how we can help you fit education into your busy lifestyle. I'm Perrin Alford, the Provost at West Georgia Technical College here in LaGrange. This morning we're talking to Chris Garcia. Chris is our systems technician at the college and he's been with the college several years now. Uh, We've been talking to Chris about uh, his experience at West Georgia Technical College, how he took coursework at West Georgia Tech, completed an associate degree from West Georgia Tech, and then used some of those credits to transfer to another institution of higher education where he eventually completed his four-year degree in computer science. Yes, computer okay. science. So uh, just want to go over briefly few things here. I went on the line on, on Google and uh, downloaded something called earnmydegree.com and it has some great statistics I think that everyone needs to uh, hear. Sometimes we forget this. Uh, it lists here for uh, the reader the average annual earnings for different levels of uh, education. Uh, if you have some high school you can expect to earn approximately $23,000 a year. If you are a high school graduate, you can expect to earn somewhere between that $23,000 and $30,000 per year. If you have some college, that's going to uh, uh, bring your potential uh, average income up to thirty-five to 37000 An associate's degree, $39,000. Uh, a bachelor's degree, $50,000. And then it goes on up the, the level here, master's degree, $60,000. Doctoral degrees, professional degrees, 100,000 plus. So uh, what I want to just really uh, point out is that education changes you in so many ways. Uh, it changes, uh, obviously, the amount of skills you're going to have. It, it, it broadens your perspective uh, on worldly issues because you're around other folks that you might not have ever met. And, of course, they have their own opinions and ideas about probably everything. Uh, educational uh, issues, political issues, whatever. So uh, education is dynamite for you in so many ways. So as I do every time I'm on the show, I urge the, the viewers to really consider technical education as a stepping stone to, to move yourself on forward. So if you're one of those that is, uh, for whatever reason, didn't complete high school, for goodness sake, Call us at West Georgia Technical College. We have adult ed programs. All that classwork is absolutely free to the student. Once you complete that coursework, there's a, a I think, $95 fee to take the GED test. But for goodness sake, GED, high school diploma, an absolute must in the economy, in the world we live in. And that's really not enough. Uh, you need to embrace learning, uh, embrace lifelong learning. And West Georgia Technical College, if you live in this uh, viewing area is absolutely a fantastic opportunity for you to get in school and uh, learn all these skills that are going to make you successful. I, I say this every time I'm on the show as well. I work with HR managers pretty much on a weekly basis. There are plenty of jobs out there. Uh, unfortunately, there's not enough skilled workers to fill all the jobs that are available, and that is an absolute shame. Uh, I was at a meeting uh, last week 
at the Governor's Office for Workforce Development. I have some data right here beside me. Uh, top 10 skilled occupations uh, that are most in demand. Number one in demand job right now over the next uh, two to three to five years, truck drivers. Truck drivers. We teach truck driving at West Georgia Technical College. You need to call us. We can help you. Carpenters, construction, laborers, maintenance, repairs. Uh, we have industrial maintenance and repair at West Georgia Tech. We teach that. There's plenty of jobs out there in that, uh, that uh, area. Electrical workers that deal with the big um, industrial park machinery. We teach that coursework. We teach drafting at West Georgia Tech. All of these things are available and those individuals who work hard, come to West Georgia Tech, learn those skills, are big time employable out here in the, the, the market that, that we live in. Troop County uh, has been blessed with so many uh, automotive jobs over the last three to four or five years that all of those jobs are, are out there. Uh, again, unemployment is high in Troop County, but there are jobs out there and if you're watching the broadcast uh, today, take advantage of what's out there. Come to West Georgia Tech, learn some of these trade skills that can get you a great job. As I've just read to you, more education equals more money. So, uh, very important. Some other stuff you need to hear uh, this morning as we've been talking to, to Chris. Just want to uh, tell you a little bit about accreditation. Uh, some some specifics here. Uh, West Georgia Technical College has articulation agreements with the following colleges right now today where if you take coursework at West Georgia Tech it will transfer to these institutions of higher ed. Columbus State University we have articulation agreements with. Mercer University we have articulation agreements with. Strayer University, a private uh, for, um, I mean, yeah, a private for-profit for school uh, we have articulation agreements with. Clayton State University, we have articulation agreements with. University of West Georgia, we have articulation agreements with. Uh, the Knight School at LaGrange College, we have articulation agreements with. So, one more time, why is that important? It's important for this reason. Education, higher education, is very expensive. Uh, but it's the best investment you'll ever make, I'll say that. So even though it is expensive, it's a fantastic value and a way to cut some of these costs is come to West Georgia Tech, come in, take some of our general core courses and general core for those who are listening or your math, your Englishes, your science, your humanities, uh, coursework like that. Come in, take those courses and work with these colleges and articulate this credit to those colleges and in the end, you do that because it's going to save you a lot of money. Uh, a little bit more statistical data here. Uh, at West Georgia Technical College, we're $75 per credit hour uh, to take our coursework. So uh, if you come to West Georgia Tech, uh, it'll be about $2,000 thereabouts for tuition and fees. Uh, if you were to go on the World Wide Web and check some of our, our sister Board of Regents schools, <clears throat> much, much higher to attend those schools. So, one more time, how do you lower those costs if you want to attend those Board of Regents schools, University of Georgia, Valdosta State, Columbus State, one of those Board of Regents schools. Again, you can attend West Georgia Technical College, come in and take those core classes, transfer to that four-year institution, and you can have saved yourself a ton of money. Uh, for our high school seniors who are watching this show this morning, uh, we have summer sessions at West Georgia Tech. You might want to consider graduating from Callaway, Trooper LaGrange, and you might want to consider coming to West Georgia Tech over the summer months, taking some of that general core, again, transferring that up to your uh, four-year uh, university. I, I have a niece at the University of Georgia, and she's coming home over the summer and she's going to take a course at West Georgia Tech. I have a uh, high school senior who's about to uh, graduate from LaGrange High and we're looking into getting him at West Georgia Tech to take some of these general core courses. Now, let me also say this, say this about uh, credits at West Georgia Tech or at any college. 
and the transferability of those courses. In Georgia, it is always up to the institution that you are going to. As an example, you went to West Georgia Tech, you wanted to go to a Board of Regents school, Columbus State, we'll just use that as an example. It is always up to the institution taking the credits, in this case, in my example, Columbus State, to say either yes or no, we take that coursework. So uh, as you come to West Georgia Tech or any school that you might go to, always work with your counselors, always ask the question, are these classes going to transfer between institutions? Uh, make sure that, that you know exactly you know, all the nuances that are uh, going to be involved in your transferring of your coursework. Um, very important. Uh, West Georgia Technical College's mission is workforce development. Uh, even though we are working very hard to articulate credits between West Georgia Tech and uh, four-year institutions, West Georgia Technical College is not changing our mission. Our mission is workforce development, has been over the last 45 years, and will continue to be workforce development. So uh, West Georgia Tech is not uh, trying to uh, get into uh, the four-year, I mean, the, the, the transferability of an associate uh, science degree, perhaps, even though we're working on that as well. Uh, so, in other words, just want to make sure that uh, the viewing audience understands our mission is still workforce development, and that's what we do, and we do a great job. West Georgia Tech offers short-term certificates. A certificate can take anywhere from three months to six months, depending on what you're taking. We also offer the diploma. That will take anywhere from six months to a year, a year and a half, depending on uh, what coursework you're taking. We also offer the associate's uh, degree, associate's of science degree, which is anywhere from two years or longer, depending on how many credit hours you take. So uh, West Georgia Technical College is your one-stop shop solution uh, to come get a quick uh, certificate, if that's what you choose, or stay two years and get an associate's of science degree. Also, the transferability issue, as we've talked about this morning, is huge. You need to be very aware that you can take that coursework, transfer to a Board of Regents school or another college and save you some money, as our friend Chris Garcia told you his story this morning. As we leave, very important, call us at West Georgia Tech. Our number is 706-845-4323. Uh, you can uh, call and get more information. You can always go to our webpage. The web address is www w-e-s-t-g-a-t-e-c-h dot e-d-u. You can get us that way as well. You can go on the web and get an abundance of information about West Georgia Tech. We still offer the HOPE grant. We still have the HOPE scholarship. Uh, it doesn't pay quite as much as it did in the past, but it's still available and the mass majority of your tuition is still paid for. The best deal in town is West Georgia Technical College. Call us. Check out the web page, come see us, and let us help make your future as bright and as best as it can be. Thanks for watching. got that ideal career in mind. Well, West Georgia Technical College specializes in preparing you for great careers. Call today and find out how we can help you fit education into your busy lifestyle. Will Brader was looking for a customer service representative and just through local communication and networking we found out about the Troop County Works website. So we go online and it was easy to process our posting and register Willibrator to the website and then we posted this job for customer service representative and received many many talented applicants that we were able to choose from and so as a result we were able to hire local talent to our company and it's just worked out great so far. You've got that ideal career in mind. 
West Georgia Technical College specializes in preparing you for great careers. Call today and find out how we can help you fit education into your busy lifestyle.